If you come in with the mindset that you're on a vacation, you must just like type two fun because it is a lot of work. Crashing and burning plays the best role in training. As instructors, we are trying to push everyone. We're trying to have failure over and over and over again without really breaking people. Woodrow, what are you doing here? I'm making sausage. Tell me about cookers. For this guy at school, you do a breakfast, lunch, and a dinner. So, you get up early to make breakfast, about an hour early. You make whatever the meal is, it changes very frequently. Set up all the food. Pretty simple, it's your standard, good, balanced breakfast. Do you know how to cook? Not a bit, not at all. <laughs> they have taught me everything I know. Our guide schoolers are from all different backgrounds, right? We have doctors, we have kids from university, and they all come here with the same purpose which is like to be a better boater. And people are learning about a lot about themselves because every day is a new challenge and you're approving every day and everybody sees that. And it's kind of kind of cool how people bond in like the nine days that are out here. Woodrow. You nervous? No. What? My problem anymore? I'm just riding along. Woodrow's nervous. Just swimming in water. You get the same point either way, time to take you along. So the Middle Fork's a really cool river. We run a 15 mile stretch out there, pretty solid class four. But we start a little closer to Oxbow Reservoir, so it feels much more remote. Tunnel Shoot is our biggest rapid of the day, our longest rapid of the day, and our hardest rapid of the day. It's man-made. Some gold miners in the area blasted a chute, and then they blasted a tunnel through the mountain and redirected the river. This is a really exciting rapid. People swim here fairly often, but it's got a nice pool at the bottom, so definitely super memorable. The river has this way to, to humble you, because uh, when you think you had things figured out, it seems like you don't. So that's the cool thing about rafting, I guess. Just never know what's going to happen. We're definitely having crashing and burning more with trainees. We want to get a lot of these questions of what if out of the way before we're bringing customers and paying guests into the equation. You know, like we really want to know what's going to happen in every scenario before we start taking people down the river. This is Rucka Chucky Falls. So this is a portage for guests. The guys run it by themselves. friends and family already. Like, uh, you gotta put a lot of trust in people you don't know, but it's also, again, comforting because they went through the same training as me, and I know that they're gonna react the same way I will or should to those situations. So you put a lot of trust in, you know, people that you haven't met before. Um, but once you go through that and do it, uh, it creates a, a quick bond. There's always going to be like special people at every company. There's always going to be like special coworkers, but there's no stronger bond, at least for me, than the people that you trained with. So like the people that you struggled with, the people that you were afraid with, the people that you pushed your limits with. Like even if you aren't that close of friends, you trust them and you failed with each other and succeeded with each other and relied on each other. That it's just a, a really cool, like a lot of times like unspoken bond too that you just really have. And and I mean you never really let go of like all of the people in my training class will always be special to me. Woodrow, what the hell happened there? Yeah. Work hard, play hard, without it. Coming up. So I got the dream team of the front. <laughs>